Muhammad, what are you doing there without listening? Look there, the vapor is going out. Close the lid properly. Sir, first rail was running with a steam engine, is it not, sir? Wow, I am glad that you know so much detail. Sir, they are always teasing me. Everybody keep quiet. James Watt invented the steam engine. He was born on January 1736. He was a very sick child and so he could not attend the school regularly. His mother taught him at home. He used to read any book. When he was bored of reading, he would play with his toys, take them apart and would construct a new toy. After a few years, he was sent to his grandparents' house. One day, when he was playing, he saw a kettle. Water was boiling in the kettle. As the steam came out of the kettle, it pushed the lid open. James was fascinated when he saw this. He took the lid off and put it on again. Then he held a silver spoon over the steam. This was the start of James' fascination with the power of steam. He was shattered when his mother suddenly died of an illness in 1753. But his father quickly took the place of his mother. One day, he gave James his own set of tools and took him to his workshop. He did wonderful things with a small set of tools and fixed anything. One of his colleagues asked him to help repair an engine. In 1765, when he was trying to fix the engine, he suddenly remembered the steam kettle in his grandmother's house. He shouted in excitement. With the help of his friends, he built the first steam engine. Soon, there was demand for his invention from different fields. By 1790, he became a very rich person. On August 19, 1819, he peacefully breathed his last. To honor this great scientist, the British Association gave his name to the unit of electrical power. We, in our day-to-day -day life, use his name. Can any one of you tell me how? I know, we will tell his name by saying 60 watts, 40 watts bulb. 